The department has decided to no longer fund its paddlefish research by selling caviar. The program had operated for 15 years and gave anglers a free option to process the popular spoonbill. And in exchange, the department then sold the fish eggs to pay for the research. News on 6's Amy Slanchik explains why the department is making the change. The Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation says the Paddlefish Research Center was a huge success. Biologists know more about the prehistoric fish than ever before. They won't stop researching the spoonbill, but they will put a new focus on other fish. Just up the road from Grand Lake, the Modest Research Center in Miami became the key to unlocking the world of paddlefish. It was somewhat experimental when we put it together 15 years ago, uh, and it took off beyond our wildest imagination. Jason Schooley is a biologist with ODWC and showed me some of the results from the research. He says it's arguable they have the most in-depth database on paddlefish in the world. 2013, just 10 years ago, we had learned so much already how to manage paddlefish. It has really made Oklahoma, essentially a spoon building capital of the United States or the world. We saw that firsthand when in 2019 we met Yoji Nebeda, who flew here from Japan for the chance to snag a spoonbill. Schooley says now his focus will pivot to expanding research at other lakes. We're going to look at these, these species that have been underappreciated, under-researched, underfunded in the past. Another factor in the decision, the price of caviar has gone down, which impacted what ODWC made from the deal. Now that it won't have the income from caviar, it's eligible for federal grants to help with research. We're going to be able to do a lot more and spend a lot less and really have a higher output for the species we study, but also for the anglers that come here. As far as the building goes, I'm told it will stay open as a field office. It just won't be a place to get your paddlefish cleaned anymore. In Miami, Amy Slanchik, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.